what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are back with another realistic rebuild and today we got to do it man the raiders are struggling man it's kind of unacceptable what's going on right now in vegas as this team basically went all in on this team this offseason and they're two and five on the year so we got to turn things around today we're gonna be doing a raiders realistic rebuild before we get to today's video make sure you guys drop a like on this one of course subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciated for also happy halloween Really appreciate you guys' support. Hope you guys have a safe Halloween. If you celebrate it, if you have fun with some kids, or maybe you're going trick-or-treating yourself, have fun, be safe, all that. And the only thing that's scarier right now is the Raiders. Okay, I was trying to make some kind of pun, but it didn't work out. So, the Raiders, it's scary that they're 2-5. and five. Let's say that. It's just not ideal. It's unacceptable at this point, and we need to fix it. Because Derek Carr, Valentine Adams, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller hasn't been healthy, so that doesn't help at all. The offensive line is not very good outside of Colton Miller, so that's also another huge issue here. If you're a Raiders fan, what do you see as the biggest issue and what do you want to see corrected in real life? So Jonathan Hankins actually isn't even on the team anymore. There was a roster update in Madden and they haven't even fixed this. That's nice. So I am going to trade Jonathan Hankins away. Wait, are we past the trade deadline? I might have messed up. So uh, yeah, maybe I can't trade him away. So I guess, yeah, I'm past the trade deadline. So I guess I got to cut him. I thought he'd be gone, but whatever. I'll just cut him because uh, he's not on the Raiders roster anymore. So, but yeah, what is your biggest issue with this Raiders roster? Like, what do you see as the biggest problem? So let me go ahead and release Jonathan Hankins, even though obviously, like I said, in real life, they traded him away to the Cowboys. So what do you see as the biggest issue? What do the Raiders need to do to fix all their problems? Is Josh McDaniels the issue? Is Derek Carr still the issue? What do you guys think? If you're a Raiders fan or just want to comment on that, you know, on the Raiders, go ahead and leave it down in the comments to get a conversation going. But I want to stop here at the extension deadline because, or I guess just extension in general, Josh Jacobs' fifth-year option was not picked up, and the man has been fantastic, especially in fantasy. If you have him in fantasy, you know, which I don't, but I've just seen how good he's been in fantasy. So I do want to resign Josh Jacobs and keep him as the keep him on the Raiders going forward. Rocky Sin, same thing. I wouldn't mind keeping him around as well. But I know the biggest problem that we need to address this offseason is the offensive line. That is going to be the biggest issue. That's why I plan on addressing this offseason is getting a better offensive line for Derek Carr. I don't know if that will solve all the issues. This should be a relatively easy rebuild in Madden because the team is already good. But in real life, it may be more than just the offensive line. Let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the season and see how we finish out. Maybe we turn things around and make the playoffs here, at least in Maddens. You see all this? This could be you. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get more out of the game you're watching. You're picking overs or unders on your favorite players that you love watching each and every Sunday. Let me show you how it works. Prize Picks is available on mobile or desktop, and they pretty much have every sport you can absolutely imagine NFL, NBA, soccer, CSGO. But since we're an NFL channel, we're going to go ahead and talk about the NFL for a second. So let's say I want to go Derek Carr and Patrick Mahomes over on both of them. Two players gets me up to three times my money. But if I wanted to go even crazier, let's say I want to do five players, throw five players in here. You can go up to five players, which that's going to 10 times your money if you get all correct, which you can go flex play. Even if you get four right, you still get a little bit of money in return. Now, I will tell you, I have started with $100 in here, and I'm up to $500. Price picks has been so much fun for me this year. If you want to go ahead and sign up, link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHBLES. They're matching your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. So if you deposit $100, you get $200 to work with. Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's video. So at the end of the season, we end up finishing 7-10, and 10, which is potentially where the Raiders could finish based off, you know, based off how the season has started for them. So it's not ideal. And the biggest issue and problem with the Raiders is they've pretty much locked themselves in this roster. They gave a lot of people extensions. Derek Carr got an extension. Devonta Adams, of course, got a, a contract from the Raiders. Darren Waller got an extension. Renfro's got an extension lately. So they're kind of locked into what they have, basically. So it is our issue to fix it with what we have. So like I said, the biggest thing is adding an offensive line. That'll help out a lot. The offense was tempting to fell in Madden simulation. So it's not too bad. Defensively, 29. So we also need to add on to the defense. That is also a big issue. So offensive line and defense i'm not really worried about the weapons that we have but we can just get a defense and an offensive line i think we'll be in good standards here at least in madden real life like i said you know that's a different totally different ball game it might be more than just what i'm saying so uh d tack i don't know why i clicked on him i don't need elijah but we got denzel perryman jonathan abram jayon brown anthony averitt i'm i'm okay with letting all these guys watch me on this walk to be honest with you i know matt collins has been an absolute stud in real life but i don't plan on resigning a 68 overall i don't think it really is going to make a difference so let's go into free agency and let's see what we can do to add to this team because it needs some help desperately so 
Offensive line and defense is like what I've been saying, what I've been preaching. So if we take a look, the offensive line, Colt Miller is great. The weapons are fine. Renfro, I guess another wide receiver wouldn't hurt either as well. So probably another wide receiver, but O-line, definitely the biggest problem. Defensively, you, ne you now need two middle linebackers. We got Bilal Nichols, got Rocky Sin, Nate Hobbs. Uh, we need another corner. We need a strong safety. So there's actually a lot more than I thought on the defense side of the ball. Chandler Jones, Max Crosby, of course, are two really good studs, but left end D tackle middle linebacker is going to be a very, very, very part of what you want to do this offseason. So let's get into free agency where we have $70 million to spend. Let's do our best to use it wisely, get as much as we can, and of course, use the draft to our advantage as well. So we are spending big in free agency as we literally have five offers here. Now, there is a good chance we don't get a single one of them because a lot of them don't even have interest in signing with me. So we have Marcus Davenport, Jamel Dean, Bobby O'Karaki, Eric McCoy, and then Derek Naughty. So if you look at it, we're not the number one offer on any of them other than Derek Naughty. So there's a good chance we don't get a single one of these guys other than potentially Derek Naughty. Uh, so let's just see if we get lucky and maybe get a few of them. So we do get Derek Naughty, but uh, we're still in the running for Marcus Davenport. So I guess we can try to up our offer, but we didn't get the other three, which I kind of figured would be the case. Obviously, you get a good D tack on Derek Naughty, which is nice. Davenport is going to be outbitted again. We don't get him either. So we struck out big time, big time strikeout here. Um, Sterling Shepard at wide receiver. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about signing him. Potentially got Tony Pollard at running back, which he had a great game yesterday. Strong safeties who are available. You got Eric Rowe. You got you know, Tony Jefferson, Anthony Harris, so nothing too crazy. Free safety, Devin McCourty, uh, cornerback. You got Kendall Fuller or Kyle Fuller, I should say now, Rashad Fenton, Mike Hughes. So yeah, a lot of this uh, needed addressed and we didn't get a single a single thing that we needed. Rashad Evans and Jayon Brown. I guess we can bring back Jayon Brown at this point. We need somebody at middle linebacker. We're not gonna be able to address everything and we kind of need to do that. Uh, left tackle, Juwan James, Dwayne Brown, David Edwards, Forrest Lamp, center. We got McCoy, which I wanted bad, but we didn't get him. Isaac, and then you have uh, Quisenberry. So not a lot of good options. Dewan Smoot might have to be somebody we get at left end to kind of put opposite of uh, what we need right now, Samson. So just getting somebody. I'm going to go ahead and get Dewan Smoot, hopefully, to uh, sign with this roster. It's not pretty. It's not the greatest signings in the world. But if we can get, I guess, those two, that'd be great. So it's going to be... Uh, Jayon Brown, Dewan Smooth. If we can get both of them, it's going to be solid signings, but nothing spectacular. But I mean, so it's three guys. We got on the defensive side of the ball. Still to address the biggest issue, which obviously, like I said, is the offensive line. So going to be need to draft an offensive line and probably use our draft picks to trade for one as well. I also said I needed another wide receiver. And yeah, we could draft one. But at this point, I think I want to just want to sign one. If we can get one, that's just decent. Like Sterling Shepard. I mean, a Sterling Shepard wouldn't be too bad at wide receiver three. Landry wouldn't be too bad either. Deontay Hardy, DJ Chark, any of these guys would be fine. So I am going to go ahead and shoot for the top of the barrel with Sterling Shepard to be my wide receiver three here in Vegas. I think that'd be pretty solid to have. So we get Shepard to sign with us. That'd be great. And then we could head to the draft and maybe look at the idea of exploring the trade market. So before heading the draft, I am trading two fives and a fourth next year for Isaiah Wynn to add to this offensive line, which was desperately needed at that point. So get an offensive lineman to play right tackle, which is going to be, like I said, really, really needed. So I'm very, very happy with that selection. And now we can head to the draft with our first round pick and whatever else we have and kind of just take whatever we can get. So pick number nine. Honestly, might use the idea of uh, trading down with this pick. If we can pick up like another first and another second, I think that's going to be very ideal. You got Jackson Smith here, which we don't really need wide receivers. You got Paris Johnson, of course, Kayshawn, Antonio Johnson. But I definitely think it is in our best interest to trade down, honestly, because this team has a lot of needs. Uh, so not like a lot, but there's definitely some things we need to address. So that's next year's. I don't want to trade out of this draft. I want to be able to next year's draft 2023 i want to be able to 13 okay so i'm not getting any good offers here which is unfortunate i was kind of hoping to trade on a 13 and get a second next year uh i guess we could we could trade down and get the 26 pick in the draft and pick up a first next year from the eagles that could be intriguing we could trade down to 26 and pick up a first round pick next year and then i guess we could use that first round pick or one of our first round picks to make a trade so yeah you know what we'll do that we'll pick up two first round picks for this ninth overall pick move down to 26 and then use that pick from next year's draft to make a trade here on draft night because we are still kind of going for it. so at number 26 we'll take best available still left we have Bijan robinson which i would love obviously but you got echo echo york alabama jordan battle i think has to be the pick here though uh he is a very good strong safety so i'm going to take jordan battle here 
to man our uh, defense because we don't have a good strong safety. Still doesn't help with the offensive line issue, which we're still needing to address, but we'll get to it. Round two, pick number nine. Let's see if we can get here. So we got our strong safety. Still need a middle linebacker as well. So uh, once again, might be not focusing on the offensive line, but I'm looking at Ekior here at Alabama. My have to Cam here or Luke out of Ohio State. We need some kind of guard here. I'm looking at the talent available. So I host Ohio, Ohio State Luke is going down like crazy. He has F pass block for Ness, B awareness. Okay, so that might be a pick we take here. We'll see. And then let's look at the other guard that we have available. Uh, Javon Cohen out of Alabama, who has jumped up the board. Actually has pretty good stats. So give me Cohen here. He's going to be hidden development. So we get ourselves a left guard in round two, which is awesome. So now we can go to round three and see what we can get here in round three at pick number nine. So round three, pick number nine. Let's see who we can get here. Justin Jacobs goes off the board, which would have been a nice pick for us. Marvin Mims, Jervin Dexter, Zach Pickens, Jack Campbell, Trey Dean, Jermaine Burton. Uh, can we get a good offensive lineman still here? Or is that not going to be possible? Derek Hall is available. Caleb Chandler out of Louisville might be the pick here. Let's see what we got here. So he's got D awareness, A to C pass in block. Uh, doesn't look A lead block, F pass block power. Does not look all that promising. So maybe we kind of take like a Marvin Mims. Or you have John Michael Schmitz here who I've never taken at center. He's got A awareness, C run block. He actually looks pretty solid. Yeah, give me John Michael Schmitz. He is a hidden development center. So I'm going to be happy with that one. Is that an actual real person? Because that's a crazy good name. I love that name. Okay. Now I want to try to make a trade. And I have just the guy in mind that I want to add to this defense. And he's been in the trade rumors in the past. So let's see if we can go get him. Going to try to land Roquan Smith from the Chicago Bears. He'd be perfect to add to this middle linebacker or add him as a middle linebacker to this defense. He's been in trade rumors. So I'm going to offer a first round pick for Roquan Smith. They do not accept it just yet. I'll offer my fourth round pick that we have here as well. Uh, they're not getting to it just yet. A fourth, and then I'll offer a third next year. Let's see if that gets them to accept. Barely does not get them to accept. I don't want to offer two first. Do I offer my second as well? Maybe I offer my second next year. So a first and a second next year, just a smidge away from them accepting it. And I'll offer my seventh, and that should get it done. Oh my goodness, we're still not there. Okay, a six should get it done. So three picks next year for Ro... Oh, we can't... Oh, it'll put them over the salary cap. What? How? How would that put them over the salary cap? That don't make any sense. They have $34 million cap room. I'm not giving them any cap space. Um, Wow, I thought I had a home run there. Or Rashad Evans, I guess, as well. First and a second for both of them. Okay, is that going to give you more cap room to take this? I don't I don't understand. First, second. They still can accept it, of course, because Rashad Evans is in the trade now. Do I really give up a third next year as well to make this happen? Still not going through. First round pick they got from the Philadelphia Eagles for Chris Lynch from be my brand new right guard. Maybe I regret that trade, but honestly, we needed a right guard and I got it. So the offensive line has totally been revamped. The one thing we did not address this offseason is the middle linebacker position. And of course, I just tried to trade for Roquan Smith. Fortunately, couldn't get to go through. But you know what? We invented the offensive line and that's all that matters. So Chris Lindstrom, all the draft picks. Isaiah win we went for it and hopefully this is going to pay off so I'm feeling pretty good about the roster we put together let's go take a look at it one thing I am severely disappointed by in Madden is they still they still have Deion, Deion Jones Deion Jones is still sitting on the Falcons he was traded to the Browns like a couple weeks ago how is that not updated Madden I don't get it so here's your new invented offensive line looking pretty damn good a lot better than last year Darren Waller, Renfro, Sterling Shepard, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, Zemir White, Derek Carr, quarterback. Defensively, we have Diablo, which I don't love, Jalen Brown, Max Crosby, Jordan Battle, Nate Hobbs. Quarterback definitely needs some work as well. It's a step. It's a step in the right direction. I will say that. So I'm going to change both schemes because it looks like we can get better potentially at uh, West Coast Power Run, 62%. So I'll change it to that. And then defensively, let's go base 3-4. That's usually what you get. So it's only a 79% scheme fit, which isn't great. Uh, four, three under would be better Four six. Yeah. So I guess we're going base three, four, seven, nine percent. Oh, for the best there. We did our best offensive lines reinvented defensively reinvented as well a little bit, but obviously still more work to be done. Let's see how it goes and hope for the best. So at the end of the season, a very disappointing finish once again, as we only went nine and eight on the season, which is third in this tough AFC West division. So I am disappointed, but it looks like the roster got a little bit better, which is promising. In its own right, but yeah, still disappointing. Offense was fourth in the NFL, so that's great. We need to keep the offense intact and defensively 19. So it got a little bit better, but I think we can add more to the defense that 
eventually is going to get better. So Waller, Renfro, Shepard, all of them had a really good season under Derek Carr. Sacks wise, Chandler Jones and Max Crosby and Blau Nichols all had really good years. Uh, Dwan Smooth, six and a half as well. So that was an underrated signing for us. Rocky or Jayon Brown, three. Uh, Diablo, Divine Diablo actually played pretty good as well. Three interceptions. Maybe he turned into star development. Who knows? A lot more work still to be done, but it is promising to go from not make the playoffs 7 and 10 to almost getting there at 9 and 8. But of course, it's still not where we want to be. Huge resigning stage here as we only have $33 million in cash space. And I don't know who is all free agents. Darren Waller at the top, Chris Lindstrom, Blau Nichols. So three impact players that I definitely want to keep back. So I just traded a first round pick for Chris Lindstrom. So yeah, I think it's safe to say we need to keep him around. Uh, so he's back. We keep him as a right guard. Waller, I definitely want back. Blau Nichols just had a really good year. So honestly, after resigning these guys, that might be all she set, all she wrote. I don't know if we'll be able to do much of anything else. Waller's going to take all my money left, and he is back. So that's all my money, $860,000 left in cap space. So we are up to the brim right now. It's a good thing we're a good team, obviously, but hopefully there's some cuts we can make, maybe just to free up a little bit of money, whether it's Chandler Jones potentially where we have to cut away or just whatever it may be. Got to find a way to free up some money. Uh, Derek Carr went up superstar development, and so did Josh Jacobs. So that's promising. So offense is going to be completely not. We're not going to touch the offense. I'm loving the offense. We're going to leave that the way it is. Defensively, still is the issue. Jalen Brown went to superstar development. So did Jordan Battle. Dwan Smoot, Naughty Nichols are fine. We need a corner, and we need a middle linebacker. Then I would be very, very happy, honestly. So a middle linebacker and a corner, but it's kind of hard when obviously you have little to no money. So. Let's see what we can do. Let's go to team salaries and let's see where we can maybe just maybe make some money up. So Chandler Jones, uh, I was about to say savings wise, we can't save any money by cutting Chandler Jones. So that doesn't help us at all. Uh, Renfro, we could save some money. Uh, Isaiah Wynn, Carlson. I don't think there's really any way we're going to be able to do anything. Carr, we would save $38 million. We cut him, obviously, but he just went to superstar development. So I don't see the point of doing that. Renfro, 8 million, which I could cut. Renfro, that's cool, but I'm not going to do that either. So I think we have to just build through the draft. Let's draft a good corner and let's draft a good middle linebacker. That's all we can really hope for. So those are going to be my first two round picks and hope those are good picks. And that'll be our draft. So let's hope for the best. We get to pick at number 18. And like I said, it's either corner or middle linebacker here as my selection here because we kind of need one of those two positions. So uh, Earl Dunn, we have good tackles. We have... Winfield, Greg Randolph, Nick Edison. Not really seeing what I need here. Jeffrey Cooks out of Miami would probably be the first guy I take here and probably going to have to be the guy I take here. So Jeffrey Cooks, welcome to the Raiders, my friend. You're going to be hopefully a really good corner added to this room. Now round two, pick number 18. It is time to draft our middle linebacker and hope he is the future here and can lock it down. So round two, pick number 18. We have Greg Randolph, Antoine Allen, Sheldon Biddle, uh, Franklin Sullivan out of Arizona State. Going to have to be the guy we take here. And again, kind of relying on him to be really good. Unless if there's a middle linebacker out there that's like making little to no money. But Franklin Sullivan, only normal development, which isn't promising. So maybe with this third round pick, we find a way to get a decent bridge middle linebacker just to help out for the short term. I'm doubling down at the middle linebacker position. I'm trading my third round pick for N'Kobe Dean. He's only normal development, but he is a scheme fit. And I'm just going to have to hope that helps us out. So going into this last season with the Raiders, because I don't see how we get better from here. So if this doesn't work out, it's not going to work out. Basically, we just kind of have to accept that. So last and final season with this Raiders roster, hopefully this team makes the playoffs. If we don't, not going to be good. So at the end of the season, we finished up as the second seed in our division and got 11 and 6 on the season. The Chiefs and the Broncos go 7 and 10. So this time we are the team that made the playoffs. We lost to the Broncos in week 18, which sucks. We get the Tennessee Titans, though, in round one. So offense was 7th in the NFL. So the offense has been great, especially since we added the offensive line. I'm assuming got even better. Defensively, not so great. Not so great at all. So Derek Carr, 39 to 8. Josh Jacobs, receiving wise, Adams, Waller, Renfro, Shepard all had really good years. Defensively, sacks wise, Chandler Jones, 11, 9 and a half, 8 and a half, 2. So it does suck that the defense struggled as much as they did, but just kind of have to roll with it. Sometimes your defense can play different in the playoffs. So that's what we kind of have to hope for. So we get the Tennessee Titans and round one. Here it is. All marbles on the table. If we cannot beat the Titans and lose, it's going to suck because I'm not going any further because this team is only going to get worse. There's no way of going up from here. So this is the best team I could have possibly put together with little to no room and losing players is going to come eventually. So car 
I need you to come out here and drive this baby. Come on, Derek Carr. Uh, okay, not a great start. Can we come out here and score a touchdown? We do. 7-0. to Defense is getting stops, which is all that matters, but they do let up a touchdown there. 7-7 seven to seven ball game. Good field position. It doesn't matter. The Titans take the three-point lead. They're going to take the... 13 point lead if I can do math correctly for or can I do no 10 point lead what am I talking about I can't do math okay all right car I don't know what you're doing but I need you to do something please it is 7 to 24 five minutes left like I said this team is only gonna get worse so if we can't beat the Titans here there's no way around making this roster better there just isn't uh, and let's just be honest so I'm gonna look for Darren Waller here he is gonna be open for a really nice gain that way we have a nice gain there Let's keep it going. We need a quick score. If Darren Waller is going to keep being open in the midfield, I got to keep looking for him, obviously. This time, they don't uh, allow that to happen. I'm actually going to give him a chance still. All right, we got him. W. I got hit on the throw, but you know what? Still threw it downfield, and he's been open. Uh, let's go deep slot curl this time and look for Waller again. He's been there. I'm actually going to have Darren Waller again. I don't know what they're doing right now, but you know what? Touchdown, Darren Waller. That's what matters. Now, I need my defense to get a stop. Can they get the stop? They do. Okay, we can do this again. Let's just run it right back. Quick score. 21-yard line. We're not done just yet. It looks hopeless right now, but I'm not willing to give up just yet. We're going to have Waller again for a nice gain. Waller's been eaten right now. We're just going to keep going out of bounds. Honestly, kind of want to throw go right back to where we were because that's a really nice first down. Let's go four verticals. I've only thrown it to Darren Waller, but the man has just been open. So what can I do? I got Devontae Adams as well, so... Need to look for him eventually. But Waller's going to be open again. I actually have the safety coming over. And that's still going to be caught by Waller. What an absolute stud. Wow, that was an actually tight catch, to be honest with you. But you know what? Came down with it. That's all that matters. Let's go Why shall cross now. Waller is activated. Does he have double me? Uh, No, he does not. Okay, so I'm going to go... Actually, Josh Jacobs. Oh, the safety came over. I thought it was going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I'm lucky that was intercepted. Josh Jacobs burned his man, but that was not one-on-one. -on -one. That was lucky I was not picked off. Okay. Gonna look, Waller's activated. I feel like I got to throw him the ball. If not, Devontae Adams, hopefully he gets open here. We're in five wide right now. Um, I'm going to give Adams a chance. He's one-on-one, -on -one, so just give him a chance, and he comes down with it. There we go. Get Devontae Adams involved as well. Two touchdowns back-to-back. -to -back. Can my defense get another stop? They do. That's all I needed. I just needed the defense to get a stop, and here we go. 21-24. We've been able to score at will here. Let's keep it moving. I'm liking this play that we have going on here. Going to have Waller wide open once again. That's going to be out of bounds. Gets out of bounds out to the 40-yard line. This looked hopeless, but we're not done yet. As long as I don't do anything stupid and throw an interception, we should be scoring a touchdown on this drive because they've not been able to stop me. I almost did throw a pick a couple times, though, so let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. All right, I'm going to look for Waller. He's been open on this play. If not, uh, I got Renfro Adams. Let's see what we got. So, uh, my take... Okay, I'm actually glad that was... I'm glad I was hit because... Not really sure if that would have been completed anywhere good, to be honest. I might have been picked off if that went through. So, uh, once again, four verts. It's been working. Let's go look for Adams. Look for Waller. I'm going to have... Actually, have Waller one. Actually, Waller's wide open. Safety's coming over. And nice play. Nice play by the safety. Uh, he, you know, obviously ignored what he had going there. All right, now we need a first down. I'm going to look for Josh Jacobs. Let's just get a first down here. Also have Trayvon Diggs out here. I get, I'm just kidding. I don't know who that is. But Diggs, I'm going to need you, Diggs, here because I need a first down, and he is going to get the first down for me. Needed that badly. Was able to avoid the pressure. We have no timeouts, so we got to be careful here. Let's go four verticals again. No timeouts left. Look for Shepard. Look for... I'm going to have give... Oh... I got hit on the play, man. That's so unfortunate. Ah, oh, that sucks. Heartbreaker, man. Adams was one-on-one. -on -one, tried to give him a chance and I got hit. Almost came back. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Thank you guys for watching. Really sucks we didn't, couldn't, couldn't pull through there, man. But yeah, I hope the Raiders turn it around in real life. It's crushables and peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.